Welcome to another video in a different location. This is my little hideaway computer room, whatever. If you watch me on the other channel, you'll know I film the hot and spicy for me. <laughs> but five, four, three, two, one challenge. Now this was started by uh, Todd Stanfield, and he contacted um, Mrs H on Facebook, I think it was, asking would I take part in it. Um, the the challenge and. Um, after that, I was tagged by DE Razor Shaving Channel, Chris, uh, to do this. So, um, and if anybody else has tagged me, well, here it is. So thanks, Todd, and thanks, Chris, for this, uh, for the um, tag, uh, for asking me to do it. So it's the five soaps, top soaps, four aftershave or post-shave products, three brushes, two razors, and one blade. So... Soaps. First one would have to be the palm olive shave stick. Sentimental reasons, been in the family, used it for many years. Good soap, performing wise, and excellent scent. And the price, you couldn't, you couldn't beat it. Just, just that. Not available anymore as much. You can still buy it online, but I've got enough to open a shop really. But uh, yeah, palm olive shave stick. The second one would be Taylor of Old Bond Street, grapefruit, uh, good quality soap and well shaving cream and the such a realistic scent it's like someone's cut a grapefruit in half absolutely amazing again I could pick so many soaps really there's a, there's a few tailors I like and but I had to just not hum and ha and pick them <laughs> uh, the third one would be Wickham's Soap Company, Russian Leather. And this is their take on a soap called Imperial Leather, beautiful scent. And it's very realistic and very much like it. It's a good quality soap, works very well. And as I say, a gorgeous scent. That'll be number three. Now number four, I don't have it to hand because I can't find it, I've put it somewhere, would be Mitchell's Wool Fat. Um, another good quality soap, um, good price, works well, and the scent is amazing on that. So that would be my um, fourth soap. And the fifth one would be Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Cease and Desist CAD. That's uh, shaving soap. This is the first batch. It's not the CK6 version or nothing like that. But the scent on this is amazing. Absolutely stunning. And the quality of the soap works well. It's really nice. So that would be my fifth so that's my five soaps. Um, four aftershave, post-shave products. So I'm going to mix it up a bit. So the first one would be I like citrus um, aftershave colognes and soaps. Would be Duru Limon because this resembles one I had from Evin which I bought from a, a supermarket in Kensington, Liverpool called the L7 market when I went to see Steve Farragher there. I apologise about the light if it's funny in here, sorry. Um, but I couldn't get that Evin again, the lemon cologne. And this is the nearest to it, if it's not the same stuff, but just bottled by, by these. Duru Limon aftershave cologne. Beautiful stuff. So that would be one. The second one would be Pinout Clubman Special Reserve, which I've put in this bottle. Uh, just a classic, good, beautiful scent. Just takes you... As soon as you open the lid on this, it's just like, wow, back you go to time. It's good stuff. So pin out Clubman Special Reserve. Then I would go with the Nivea Originals Aftershave Balm. And the reason I go with that, I love the scent. It's good stuff. Um, but it goes with a lot of my... If you watch me regular on, on, when I've used this in shaves, it goes so well with a lot of the aftershaves I use. Uh, it doesn't sort of counteract each other. It always goes well, so Nivea Originals. And uh, the fourth one would have to be the Shulton, the original Shulton Old Spice. Absolutely amazing stuff. I could have picked Fabergé Brut as well, but this a, it's a four aftershave. This is where I've had to, you know, <laughs> behave and discipline. Uh, so that would be the aftershaves and post-shave, uh, the four of them. 
and then we've got three brushes now again I have so many brushes a lot of them have been made um, by people for me in wood uh, unique handles uh, gear stick I've got a, the uh, gun barrel I've got the bishop and all that type of stuff um, but I've had to pick three so the first one would be because I couldn't pick one of the art let's call them artisan brushes I've gone with um, three non-artisan brushes so it's for me anyway I couldn't pick one without the other so I bought this when I the, one of the first sort of good quality brushes I bought when I was um, de shaving because a lot of brushes I started were, with, with were unbranded um, cheap inexpensive brushes you know from even cheaper than the Wilkinson sword brush but uh, this was one of the gooder, gooder best quality or better quality brushes I bought it's the Samog 830 bore brush for the price it's a good quality brush I've had it for years and the more you use it the better it gets in, in softness it becomes much like a badger in my opinion but it still maintains a good backbone after all these years for creating a lather in hard soaps cropes or creams or whatever so that would be the one brush the second one would be uh, Samog again but this is the 2030B and I like this for its handle very old fashioned 1930s handle I don't know if it's a um, very nice art deco type uh, a good way to it it's a nice brush and handy for getting into small spaces a small brush but uh, really nice I like that so that would be the second one and the third one would have to be my own brush this uh, Paul H Films brush which um, DS Cosmetics made for me but the reason I picked this one is because I had more um, say shall we say I picked the handle not the shape but I picked the colours the black top and the orange uh, resin base and the tuxedo knot um, so very proud of that and um, so that would be my three brushes two razors well uh, <laughs> the first one without a doubt would be the Gillette Slim Twist sentimental reasons mainly but it's a good razor anyway it was a good sort of inexpensive well as it goes today uh, those days there wasn't a big um, market of razors then unless you were rich uh, most men uncles whatever used to shave with these this type it was the razor of the day and my dad used it my grandfather used one um, yeah so for that reason I've picked it and it's a good razor anyway so that would be one razor and the second one can anybody guess this if you know me well enough it could be one of mm, two razors well if you said Gillette slim adjustable you'd be quite right some people say the future but uh, as I say I can only pick two so that would be the Gillette slim adjustable um, again an old Gillette well made good quality twist to open adjustable and I've always liked it so that would be my razor number two and one pack of blades so my go to blades would be Persona Red or the Wilkinson Sword so I've gone with Wilkinson Sword in this case because these are more available the the reds the Persona Reds are difficult to find I you know around here well not around the on, online in Britain uh, without them coming from abroad um, but I've got enough stock for now but um, I would pick these because of the ease of getting them really uh, I know some of them are made in Germany is it India the other lot are made but they both work well for me um, but if I had a choice and they they were available I would buy the British version of Wilkinson Sword uh, these were a gift from another Todd who visited the UK and I met up with him I give him a few products and he give me a few products and this was one of them and that blade there you can see is I've used once and the reason I would pick these I mean as I say these are good enough but if you ever tried the British one I found these very smooth so just as good but smoother to use really nice um, noticeable smoothness and they were good so um, those would be the choice but obviously you can't buy these now so 
and that would be my blade now so that's that video very difficult to make i find and i think those are if you well if if you've got the what's the word the buy-in uh if you've got the stock shall we say <laughs> lots of products it's very difficult to pick just a few so i don't know if i meant to tag people so i'm not going to tag anybody i don't like tagging people because i feel a nuisance doing it so what i'm going to say is if you've got a shaving channel on youtube and you like to do this but you haven't been tagged as yet please consider yourself tagged by me um do the five four three two one challenge um and that is it yeah so that is it so hopefully you found that interesting and thanks again to chris from de razor shaving channel for tagging me and to todd stanfield who started this whole um challenge um so it's been interesting so uh, hopefully you found it interesting and enjoyed watching and um, I'll see you in the next shaving video. Take care.